Welcome to Ash Waste Build 3. Uh, JD in the sump C. I'm D again. And we're going to be getting a bit sloppy in this build. Um, it's time to start adding texture. I am stuttering now because I don't want to say um so much. This is the fifth take I've done on this. Um, yeah, there it is again. Anyways, we're adding uh, sand and glue and rocks and sump. We're going to be just having a good old time and making a big mess. Uh, thanks for stopping by and, and sitting with me. Now, on to the video. And here we go. Um, well, going on stage two here. I uh, gotta do some cleanup, reorganize things. Uh, just to let you guys know, um, there's four other tiles on the other side of this board that uh, I am uh, doing via the Some City Radio Discord. Um, if any of you guys are watching, um, I'm trying to do it every Wednesday uh, to get on there and you know build stuff and. Say hi to everybody. Okay, so we're patching. Uh, we're gonna patch the seams up. Uh, a lot of people have different ways of doing this. Um, I wanted to, the last couple times I've done it, I wasn't very happy with using just premix spackle and stuff. So I decided to do this uh, water putty. Um, it's really good stuff. There's not much of a difference between that and powdered spackle but I wanted to get something a little bit more in depth here um, yeah there's the um again putting it on with a spoon yeah but anyways you can mix this up to whatever consistency you want and you know push it around with a uh, with a putty knife and a spoon your fingers um, something to be said right here um, None of this is, has been coated in PVA glue yet. Um, I wanted to try to get this uh, so I was doing as many steps all at once as I could. So I got to be careful in a couple of other areas uh, because certain glues obviously don't like going straight onto foam. And I'd prefer not to do that again. Um, 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 um. Yeah, we're trimming things up with a putty knife here. Uh, textures can be put in at this point. I'm trying to stay away from them because I'm going to do a lot with sand and glue later. Um, one other thing to keep in mind on this, uh, it looks nice and pink and yellow right now and it's going to look dusty and sandy, but the end result is going to be the orange. Uh, and the sump is going to be purple on this. Uh, <laughs> and glow in the dark it's gonna be gonna be interesting um, I had a lot of fun making that other board last year and I'm having a lot of fun doing this uh, yeah you're just the the water putty will be out where the or will be the road obviously um, I'm gonna try to keep texture off of that um, all right, here we go. Uh, you know, can't have desert without rocks, especially ash wastes. Um, I am going to be adding more uh, GW bits and bobs later on. Uh, that's going to be after, uh, most likely after the paint job. I'm also going to be adding a lot of tufts, uh, grass, and, and other little bits and bobs to it. Uh, not at this stage, though. Uh, this stage, we're going to be super gluing rocks down for the base. Um, one thing to note, uh, no super glue on the foam. Uh, the water putty is protecting the uh, foam, so I can glue these rocks down in random patterns. Uh, there is a little bit of you know, method to my mayhem. Basically, anywhere that got missed with the putty... And yes, I let this dry overnight. 
We're just gonna put little piles where it looks like there'll be dust slides and things like that. And I'll let you go back to watch it. Okay, here we go. Time to really start getting messy. So, some white glue or PVA glue. It does have vinyl in it. No, can't really be white glue without having that in there. And we're going to do some sump. Now, one of the tricks with this is um, getting it to fit in there right. Um, I'm trying to do this so I don't have to do a lot of caulking in between the uh, the foam and the uh, plexiglass on the bottom. Uh, saving a step, trying to anyways. Um, I actually have never gotten this to work correctly. <laughs> the last the last time I did something like this, which was a inside. Uh, tile with the green sump on it um, learned a lot from that experience and as always you know you just keep plugging away we're gonna be putting the PVA PVA glue all over every piece of pink um, I don't have to do it over the uh, putty that I put down for the road Okay, so now this is where you have a lot of a lot of buckets because now we're gonna add handfuls of sand to a texture. I like to do all of this uh, mainly because buying the not that I don't like using the AK interactive stuff and and all that other things. It's just I use so much of it that it really began to get expensive. Um, you know after. After you looked at, at how all this stuff's broke down um, and what it actually is, um, you know, I, I have the want to make it myself. Um, it costs a lot less and then I have it. Um, you know, you can't, <laughs> unless you have all this stuff, you, you, you can't do any of it. That includes models and, you know, all that, all that good stuff. Uh, everything to do with hobbying. Um, you know, if if you haven't, if you haven't actually bought the stuff, you don't have it with you there. You can't do anything with it. Yeah, here we go. We're on the, uh, the angled tile. This is actually the last part of the sump. This is kind of interesting because it's it. I don't. I usually don't do this to boards with other stuff on it and then lay the sump in. This is two builds in a row here. We're folding it over. I got a little bit of pile of rocks in there uh, that fell into the sump. We'll be, uh, we'll be dealing with that, you know, when we get to the painting point. We're also going to be doing the, the big sump lake and the river that the, uh, the toll bridge is going over. We're going to be taking care of that too with a little bit more more painting but uh, i'll let you get back to it
Oh yeah, uh, we are coming up to a part uh, once again. Not a blowout in this video. So happy that didn't happen so far. Um, but yeah, another failure um, is coming up here. I'm gonna knock one of these pieces off. Turns out to be a good thing. To, yeah, there we go, yeah. Part of the old. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I wasn't very worried uh, about when this little thing happened. Um, more feeling stupid because I did it right on video, which was, you know, hey, why not? That's that's when you're going to do it anyways. But uh, this made it easier to get the glue around inside. There are two pieces in there. I am going to be doing some decoration to that area um, a little later. I do have plans for that little crack right there. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways, um, you know, it, mistakes are how you look at it. Um, they're either, you know, happy accidents, you know, Bob Ross style, or, uh, you know, you let them bother you. I try not to let any of this bother me. I do this so that I can calm down from <laughs> all the things that do bother me. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna, gonna put the sand right around the road here. So it has some texture for when I'm painting. And, uh, I'll let you guys get back to Okay, so uh, I was hemming and hawing about this and I think I'm gonna have, I have enough pieces here, I can try it. One of the things I'm worried about um, with putting the putty directly onto the plexiglass is the same reason that I don't do resin pours directly on the plexiglass. It is very flexible and unfortunately when you put a rigid thing like, like resin on it um, and the plexiglass underneath you know bends there's a good chance it's just gonna pop off so on this tile I am going to be uh, just putting PVA glue with with sand um, for the road area that's gonna be driving up to it and then I'm gonna use the pour on method here to add another texture so I'm kind of gonna be um, hiding the fact that I'm just going straight onto the tile uh, once it gets primed and painted, it's not going to be a big deal. It shouldn't be noticeable. But on the other one, oh, here we are. We're at the end here. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, getting there, getting there. Going to be starting to do some more texturing. And we're also going to be doing some uh, more painting and making it orange, maybe. So... I really hope you guys have a great night. Here we are at the end of the video. Um, guess I like talking anymore. So I wanted to throw out a question that I've been having. Um, and there's the um again. Do you guys like these shorter videos? Um, I can make longer ones. Uh, I was just trying to stay on this weekly schedule uh, with the time that I have uh, available to make these videos. Um, if you guys want longer ones or just, hey, get on with it, you know, let's just see all of it. I like making these videos part, 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 just so I can, uh, you know, you guys can see everything that I've been doing. Um, but if you know, if you don't like that, um, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, any anybody can comment. Um, good, bad, doesn't make any difference to me. Um, it's all very interesting to me. Uh, and there we go. Uh, and um, and can't stop, I guess. <laughs> you guys, we'll see you next time.